For the last 17 years, this cicada nymph has lived quietly underground. But now its time has come, and its instincts pull it to the world above. The cicada climbs the nearest tree, where it sheds its skin and changes into its adult form, like this. At the same time, millions of others have also surfaced. But these insects have only come out to mate and lay their eggs. And once these eggs hatch, the nymphs then descend into the underworld to lie in wait for another 17 years. Cicadas can fall into two main categories. Annual, which emerge every year, or periodical, which emerge every 13 or 17 years. Periodical cicadas are some of the most remarkable insects because of their unusually long life cycles and synchronized emergence of adults. There are more than 3,000 species of cicadas, but only seven are periodical, all of which live in North America. This map groups cicada populations into broods based on the year they emerge. Different broods emerge in different years. A few months ago, brood 9 emerged in parts of Virginia and North Carolina. The last time this brood was seen was in 2003. Next year, brood 10, the largest of all the 17-year broods, will emerge in Indiana, Ohio and Pennsylvania having last been seen there in 2004. So why did periodicity evolve in these cicadas? Well, it could have evolved as a way of avoiding predators. Cicadas take a strength in numbers approach. They are clumsy and slow, and have no defences. They make easy prey, but because they emerge in the millions, the predators can eat their fill and still leave enough for the species to survive and breed. There is one problem to this theory though. Emerging in huge numbers is a trait seen in all cicadas, so it alone can't explain the evolution of periodicity. Instead, periodicity works well because of how long it takes. If cicadas emerge frequently, then predators could just adapt their own life cycle so that their breeding season coincides with their prey's arrival, ensuring enough food for their young. By extending their life cycle, cicadas can prevent predators from syncing up with them. What's even more remarkable is that these insects have fine-tuned this strategy using simple maths. There's a reason why periodical cicadas live for precisely 13 or 17 years and it's because they're prime numbers. For example, suppose there's a cicada that remains underground for 12 years. It could be easily wiped out by any predator with a life cycle of two years, or three, or four, because every time the adults would come to the surface, they'd meet hungry animals ready to eat them. Now let's take a 13-year cicada this species would only coincide with a two-year predator every 26 years, a three-year predator every 39 years, and a four-year predator every 52 years. By cycling at a large prime number, cicadas minimize the chances they'd bump into their predators. Prime numbers may also prevent hybridization between different broods. When different broods emerge at the same time, they can mate with each other to create offspring with different life cycle lengths. And so these hybrids become removed from the mating population. Because cicadas rely on overwhelming predators in mass numbers, broods that emerge at the same time are more likely to decline and go extinct. Prime numbered life cycles minimize the odds that 13 year and 17 year broods will ever coincide and mate. 
these insects have tapped into the code of mathematics for survival. Here, periodicity makes them much more elusive. But if it's such an evolutionary advantage, why is it so rare? This paper suggests that periodicity evolves when predators push cicadas to the brink of extinction. Annual cicadas grow underground as nymphs until they reach a certain size, and then they emerge to molt into adults. But the periodical cicadas don't depend on size. Instead, they depend on time. Intense predation can lead to a switch from size-based emergence to time-based emergence, where a mutation coding for periodicity spreads through the population via natural selection. Another selective pressure may have been climate change during the Ice Age. The colder conditions around 2 million years ago may have favoured longer life cycles in cicadas. Most summers were just too cold for them to survive and breed, so a good strategy was to stay underground for as long as possible, in the hopes of emerging in a warmer season. In these non-periodical cicadas, individuals with genes that slowed their development were selected for possibly leading to the evolution of periodicity. Periodical cicadas have one of the most unusual life cycles of any insect, and because they only emerge every 13 or 17 years, they are difficult to study. We still know relatively little about them. In fact, a surprising study on bird populations found that they were smallest in the years that cicadas emerged, which tells us that these insects somehow time their appearances with dips in predator numbers. How they do this is still a mystery, and it may take a while before we ever find out.